guys. Today is a bit of a weird one, or at least it certainly feels like it. Today is the last day that I'm aware of that I'm going to be doing a talk for ACM as part of the presentations at the audition day. Um, I've been given the opportunity to do these for a number of months now and I've met a lot of people doing so and gained a huge amount of experience with regards to speaking to a large group of people or a large crowd. So today is going to be very weird because it'll be the last one I get to do whilst being a student here before I finish my degree in three or so weeks. So let's see how it goes. Hi guys, um, I'm a guitarist and normally when I do this kind of thing I tend to riff and just go off the top of my head but seeing as Ollie said I'm going to be graduating in two weeks I've actually written some stuff that I specifically want to talk about. So I've had the privilege of standing here and speaking to people a few times now and now being sad that I'm actually leaving the ACM. Um, five months ago I met someone who changed the way I think about music and had, despite having played guitar for ten years after speaking to her for 10 minutes, it completely transformed the way I think about it in that time completely. Um, while starting here, I didn't have nearly the technical ability that I had or the musical understanding I had. And since being here, I've been given the opportunity to do things such as sitting on West End musicals, having actually been offered jobs for some of them now, played in cocktail bars, jazz bars, played Hawaiian hen nights. I've, I've done stuff I wouldn't have literally would have really thought of doing. As a guitarist, when I do this kind of thing, what I tend to do is I tend to riff and I tend to talk off the top of my head. But seeing as, as Ollie said, I'm going to be graduating in probably three weeks, I just want to actually, I've written some stuff that I actually particularly wanted to say to all of you. So um, I've had the privilege of standing here and talking to people a number of times now. And despite being quite sad that I'm actually leaving after studying for two years, I'm quite excited about my future and I'm very grateful for the support I've received in making what was one of the biggest decisions of my life, quite frankly. Uh, five months ago, I met someone who opened my mind to music more than anyone I'd met prior to this. And having played guitar for 10 years, having spoken to this person about music for 10 minutes, kind of just gave me an overall understanding of really what I think it is to be a musician. And that's in a way the same way that I felt while studying here for two years. Throughout my school life I did, well, I did a lot of guitar playing, that's what I invested most of my time in. And I heard about the ACM when I was 14 and I didn't think that I was necessarily ready to come here but the ACM convinced me otherwise when I came to an open day two years ago. It's the friends and <clears throat> all of the tutors that I've met in my time here that has really made it what's special for me. The classroom time and the time outside of the classroom. When I came here, I wasn't nearly as technically proficient as I think I am now. I wasn't nearly as musically, theoretically cleared up, and I didn't have a business head of myself, certainly two years ago. And it's the peers and the tutors that, while I've been here and even now, continue to work with each other, both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. So in two years, I feel like I've managed to accomplish more than I've accomplished before, and granted, I'm only 21 years old, but it's the support of the tutors that really made this happen for me. So, two years ago I started a website to document me, and this is what this is about, uh, studying this degree, which fortunately quite a few people around the world now tune into and get to see me do things. And it's things like that, and at least having started a photography and film and music journalism company while being here at the same time, that really kind of ties into what I think the ACM is about, branching out and not just being one particular thing. If I told the 18 year old me, um, when you go to ACM you're going to start doing these things, he'd probably laugh and he'd say, well, if he's lucky enough. But as I remind myself of 21 year old me that this has happened, I want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you to all of the tutors, to the owners of ACM, and to all of my peers for making me the person I am today. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, it's currently quarter to two in the morning. And I just wanted to make this video at the end of this video just to say thank you very much to everyone that's followed me over the last two years. Um, it was a big decision obviously moving away and studying guitar like I wanted to for so long. And the fact that so many of you have followed my journey and at least around the world now seem to be embracing what I do means a lot to me. Uh, I look a little bit of a state because when I got in today at 7pm 
I was so exhausted after today uh, that I fell asleep and I've just woken up. Today was a big day for me, having to, getting to talk for the last time, I believe, as a student about my experience and about what everything I've done over the last two years. And I was overwhelmed that so many people seemed to be inspired by it and embraced what I had to say. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for that. And thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you found my little bit from my talk inspiring. See you later, guys.